I'm Mallory Moiks. And I'm Garrett Moiks, and we're in Toadsuck, Arkansas at our Bermuda grass hay farm. We didn't get any cows till I was about 10 years old. Well, I actually got two black Angus heifers for Christmas when I was 10 to show, and I did that for a little bit. And uh, when I was 12, Dad bought his first herd of cows. We bought 50 mama cows, and we rented the neighbor's pasture there. So I grew up outside of St. Louis, and I have no agricultural background whatsoever. He introduced me to the farm really quick. I'd come down to visit him, and he'd have me on a tractor. I'd be studying for exams while riding with him. Once we got married, I was all in. In 2016, her, her dad bought a 1,500-acre cattle farm in Danville. And we rented that from him, and we bought 200 mama cows right off the bat. And then in 19, her dad decided that he needed to do something different with his money, so he sold that farm. And we were hoping to sell part of the farm. We had looked at you know, some different ways where we could keep something. But eventually, we just realized that the best way was going to be just sell the whole, the whole thing as it was. At the time, we, did, we thought our world was coming to an end, but looking back, that was the best thing that really could have mm -hmm. happened. Yeah. We knew we wanted to farm, so we sold all our cows except for 50 head, and we rented two different places here and put those cows on there, and we bought 20 acres mm -hmm. of Bermuda grass. Our neighbor called us one day, said, asked if we wanted to buy his farm here, this 150 acres, and then our family friends had the other half over there. They were row cropping it. Well, we decided we were going to put it all buy it and put it all in Bermuda grass. So we did that. It's, we're not just like your normal hay farm, you know. We we focus on square bales, and they are all pure Bermuda grass. And we our main customers are horse people. We focus on our protein. We only cut we cut every 21 to 30 days. We fertilize, spray, keep it irrigated. Our big thing is keeping our protein and our TDN up. Well, on the cattle side, we have about 130 mama cows, and we just kind of run a crossbred set of cows, or Angus, Hereford cross, kind of. We have Carly Ann, who's five. She's about to finish kindergarten. We have Caroline, who is four, and we have Camille, who just turned one. I want, I want them to have what I wished I had. And just well. growing up with that foundation of, you know, just the knowledge of the farm, but also just like the work and um, appreciation for it, I guess. You know, we came to appreciate within time, but it just wasn't something that we grew up with automatically. I just think we've came a long way in kind of a short, mm -hmm. short period of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the track that we're on right now. And it's crazy to look back and just see like where we started and like where we thought things were hard or falling apart. And now we look back and we're like, oh, I mean, that Every was nothing. You know, here we are. Everything happens for a reason, for sure. Mm -hmm.